Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Spyro Season of Ice, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so now that I have, what, 90% of the game beaten, let's see if I can actually go to Dusty Trails right now. No, you have to go to the level first, and then you'll be able to warp there instantly. Well, luckily I know where it's too. Okay, I'll, I'll just go, like, through the archway, rather than through the front. Okay. <coughs> it is Spyro, after all. Nothing has to make sense. Oh, that's a lantern. Guess I have to light all those. Howdy, Spyro! I'm right glad to see ya! Whole gang of outlaw Rhinox rode into town just a bit ago, and they've been downright ornery about getting gone! Now they got to unlock Deputy Manny in my jail cell and stolen my keys. I'd be right pleased if you'd give me a hand with these Rhinox. Look, I'll give you a hand if your French cousin would stop trying to sexually harass that cat, okay? It's a misunderstanding, it's paint! How did he not notice that? Seeing as how the paint did not completely dry, it would have smelled. I'm just saying. Good lord. Dave Chappelle was right. Watching cartoons when you're a kid, and then again as an adult, you have like completely different perspectives. But then again, I think it's, that's because like uh, when you're a kid, you don't really understand a lot of the going-ons of the world. But when you're an adult, you know a hell of a lot more. And it's downright disturbing at the same time. I think I came from this way, did I? Yeah, I did, alright. This looks like it's the upper right of the whole stage. And I just talked to you like three times already. They should have made it like you can actually talk to them by pressing a button rather than just walking by them. Well, of course the Rhinox would have guns. It's always the guns with these Rhinox, I'm telling ya. They don't even know how to aim them either. Just blind fire. They don't care who they hit. They're probably gonna hit no one. That's just a waste of ammo. A waste of ammo with their unlimited ammo guns. Cause that's how Spyro works. Guns don't run out of ammo, but Spyro can run out of air when he just touches water. <laughs> What the hell you wearing a poncho throwing a bird? Good lord. <laughs> Can you imagine if they just made like creatures with ponchos now? Getting up in arms about it. <laughs> then again, I think there was like a fringe collective of some people, not a lot of people. They were up in arms about, like, Mario wearing a poncho in Super Mario Odyssey. I'm like, guys, come on. It's a game. Like, of course he's gonna dress up like that, you know. Be, like, hip and, like, very unique. Besides, I love Super Mario Odyssey. I, I beat the game, but I never got all the power moons yet. And then I realized how many there are, and I'm like, holy crap. I may not be able to get all the power moons without having to use some hints. And some of them I had to look up online because some of the hints were, like, pretty vague. That I would not have been able to figure out. Yeah, you ain't getting me, you damn poncho Rhinoch, with your burb. It ain't happening. Oh, oh no, oh! Why do they always have to put the enemies there? Like, in spots where you know that if you fall, you're get, if you get hit once, you're dead. Why always in these spots? Now I gotta light all the lanterns again. That sucks. And there were so many of them I had lit too. 
Now I gotta remember where they all were. Who knows how many lanterns there were in this entire stage? And besides, he whipped out his bird right away. Oh, oh god, I'll take that out of context. Like, he flung his bird right into my face, and then I just had to give in. I'm making this worse, I know, but... Oh my god, there was nothing I could do. I was completely defenseless. Where else can I go? Okay, I know where he's gonna fling the bird. So let me just go around like this. Okay. I think that's the best thing you can do. Just wait for him to fling the bird. And then when it stops, that's when you go. Oh, there's a fairy up here. He thinks I should get that. Next time you see a Rhinox Spyro, give him a good flame on the butt for me. Does it have to be the butt? Surely I can flame anywhere else. Center mass, that's how I roll. Now I really have to be careful that this does not happen again. Should be safe here. Just play cool. Like the guys with the guns, I don't think they aim north. So I don't think I have to worry about them if I approach from that direction. How do I get up here? Definitely have to look into that. Golly gee, Spyro, that darn thief done stole my new shovel. I'd be much obliged if you got it back for me. Oh no, not the ones I gotta chase. Is that the one I gotta deal with? Oh god. I can see it now. <coughs> Try to clear it as much as I can first. So that are not in my way later. the chest to because usually it's in the start of the level but here I haven't seen it at all which I find very unusual oh wow he actually shot me oh there you are what is your movement pattern Great start. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> that was quick! That was right nice of you, Spyro! Wait a cotton picking minute! This isn't my shovel! Whatever it is, you can keep it! Thanks, partner! I would laugh if that skunk still tried to dig into the ground using a fairy. And then she starts like screaming like, ah, it hurts! And the skunk is like, why does my shovel talk? Because <laughs> he's a skunk. He don't understand how the world works. All he does is just kick up a stink. Oh, there's another island over there. <coughs> over there. Wait a minute, I don't think I can get up there. Not from here, at least. Wait a minute, did I not torch that? Huh. Weird. Can't believe I actually missed. Well, at least I was quick to rectify that mistake. Ah, there we go. Wait for it, wait for it. Now. 
There's the chest. Oh, well, all those gems just spilled out. Thank you, Spyro! You're welcome, Alex. <laughs> okay. I'm missing some lanterns. So I don't think I lit them all yet. I need to light all the beacons so that we can finally get aid from Gondor. Sometimes that's all it takes, man. Okay, where have I not been? Is there anything to the far right? Yes! Plenty of gems over here. Hi. Not the last enemy, though. Okay, I still got a little bit of work to do. Oh, here we go. Oh, right, I wanted to get up there before and I couldn't. And I definitely hear an enemy up there. Get up here? Oh, wow, I almost slipped off. Let me get the fairy first. I never thought I could be so cold. Thanks, Spyro. Boom. Thank you kindly, Spyro. It's awful embarrassing to be locked in your own own jail. I found this birdie trophy in the lunch bail mob pack for me. You can have it if you like. I rescued Mariah. Hopefully she can carry me to where the gems are. The remaining seven. Oh god. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I gotta look for one lantern that I did not light. Where did I not light a lantern? Let me check up this way. Yeah, I lit that one. And I'm pretty sure I lit the one at the start. Hmm. I guess I gotta find seven more gems. That's not gonna be fun either. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, nice. Now it's down to three. Trying to nip that in the bud as fast as possible. Okay, I lit that one. So far, it's leaning to yes. There's only two left. <coughs> so we're making some progress. Problem is, I'm not making enough. So none of them are up here. I lit that one. Or a lantern. Oh, this one. Thanks, Spyro. Now don't fly away, Eileen. <laughs> In case you're wondering, that's a reference to a Sam Roberts song called Don't Walk Away, Eileen. It was a hit back in the day. Great Canadian band. <laughs> Good gems gone. Like the remaining two. Do 
Do I have to go all the way back to the bottom? Because there was like that big expansive area, but I don't know if I've been everywhere on it. You know what I mean? Those last two gems are going to be a nightmare to search for. No, no, I don't want to go back. Gems, where are you? There's only two that I need. I would think that they'd be all around here. Because this is, like, a very wide place. And I don't think I would have been able to look everywhere on it. Because I was too busy chasing that jabroni. Attempt the speedway now. I'm going to say I'm going to make an executive decision and I'm going to wait till the next episode to do the Space Age Speedway. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's probably the only thing I got left. Like on this world, like it's just this. Get the two fairies there, the 300 gems, and then I can take on the final boss. So there you go. We're almost at the end of this Let's Play, everybody. See you later, everyone. Stay tuned for the next part.